Welcome friends. Today, we are diving into one of the hottest debates in the pharmaceutical industry. QA vs QC vs RA vs production, which one actually pays more? But hey, before you jump to conclusions, let me assure you, it's not just about the salary. It's also about the kind of life you want, the growth opportunities, and yes, those little things like how much coffee you'll need to survive the shift. Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll not only know the answer but also which role may suit you best. Let's begin by first understanding why this debate even exists. Every fresher entering pharma has this burning question, which department should I choose? I've heard this from hundreds of students, and even professionals still compare salaries across roles at tea breaks. It's like cricket, everyone wants to know who's scoring higher runs. The confusion is real, because all four departments are essential, yet very different in nature. So, let's decode this puzzle. Before we compare, let's clearly understand what each department does. Imagine a pharma company like a car. QA is like the brakes, ensuring everything is safe. QC is the engine check, testing if it's running fine. RA is the GPS, guiding the company legally across countries. And production? Well, production is the car itself, because without it, nothing moves. Now, let's break down each one in detail. First stop, QA, the quality watchdog. Quality Assurance, or QA, is like the referee in a football match. They don't play the game, but they decide whether it's fair or foul. QA people set systems, make SOPs, and ensure compliance with GMP and yes, they check everyone else's mistakes, which is why sometimes they're not the most popular folks on the shop floor. But trust me, without QA, a company can't survive even a single regulatory audit. From referees, let's move to detectives, that's QC. Quality control, or QC, is where the science comes alive. These are the folks in lab coats, surrounded by HPLCs, UV spectrophotometers, and petri dishes. Their job? Testing, testing, and more testing. They ensure raw materials, intermediates, and finished products meet standards. Think of them as detectives with test tubes instead of magnifying glasses. If something is wrong, they are the first to catch it. And yes, if your test fails, your weekend plan also fails. From labs, let's now jump into the global game of regulations, RA. Regulatory affairs, or RA, is like being a lawyer, translator, and negotiator all in one. They deal with agencies like US FDA, AMA, CDSCO. They ensure that your drug file, your dossier, your labeling, all comply with the rules of whichever country you want to sell in. Without RA, your product can't leave the factory gates, forget about reaching a patient in another country. These guys are like diplomats of pharma, very valuable, very respected. And now, the big muscle, production. Production is the lifeline of pharma. This is where theory meets reality. From granulation to compression, coating to packaging, production does it all. Without them, all the QA, QC, and RA efforts are just paperwork. But let's be real, production life is not easy. Shifts, manpower handling, machine breakdowns, Sometimes it feels like you're managing more people than medicines. But the thrill of seeing thousands of tablets being made in front of your eyes? That's priceless. Alright, we've met all four. Now let's address the burning question, who earns more? At fresher level, the salaries are almost neck to neck. You may find slight differences, RA might offer a bit higher because of Nietzsche skills, and production sometimes pays more because of shift duties. But don't fall for this early stage race, growth happens with time. Let's now see what happens when you gain 5 to 10 years experience. This is where the difference becomes clearer. QA and production climb steadily. RA often shoots up higher because of global demand. QC, unfortunately, grows a little slower unless you specialize in sophisticated techniques like bioassay, stability studies, or method validation. And yes, if you are in production, sometimes your growth also depends on how well you handle audits, and what about those who go beyond 15 years? At senior management, the salaries get really attractive. Regulatory heads often cross the highest brackets, but QA and production heads are no less, especially in MNCs. QC heads earn well too, but fewer reach the top compared to other domains. The point here is, all four can lead you to financial success if you stay consistent. So, after all that comparison, let's wrap it up with a quick salary conclusion. Here's the summary. RA edges out slightly in salaries. QA and production stay very close, both vital, both valued. QC is a strong technical base, 
but slightly behind in numbers, and the most important point, growth isn't just about the department. It's about your skills, adaptability, and consistency. That's what really drives your career forward. But hey, salary is just one factor. What about lifestyle? QA usually enjoys office timings. QC may get stuck in labs till late, especially when tests run longer. RA sometimes has to match US, Europe timelines, so odd calls are common. Production? Well, if the machine breaks down at 2 am, guess who's getting the call? Yep, the production guy. So think not just about money, think about lifestyle too. So, which one should you choose? This is where you must look inside yourself. Are you a detail freak who loves procedures? Go for QA do you enjoy experiments? QC is your home. Do you like legal stuff and international exposure? RA is gold. And if you love action, leadership, and don't mind some stress, production is your playground. Before we wrap up, let's look at future opportunities. Pharma is evolving fast. RA is booming because every country has stricter rules. QA and QC are getting reshaped with automation, AI, and data integrity. Production is transforming with robotics, continuous manufacturing, and smart factories. And the best part? All four fields offer global career opportunities if you keep upgrading yourself. So, who pays more? The honest answer, RA slightly edges out, but QA and production are very close. QC is a bit behind in pure numbers but offers strong technical foundation. But at the end of the day, your growth is not decided by the department, it's decided by you. Skills, adaptability, and consistency matter more than the title on your visiting card. If there's one message I want you to take away from this session, it's this, don't chase money blindly. Build your skills, your reputation, and your network. The money will automatically follow. QA, QC, RA, or production, whichever path you choose, go all in, and success is guaranteed. Did you enjoy this video? If yes, then hit the like button, drop your thoughts or questions in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Pharma Health Insights for more pharma career and industry content. Also, share this video with your friends and colleagues, because who doesn't want to know where the money is, right? Until next time, stay curious and stay inspired.